Hello and welcome again to another room here on TriHack Me. We're gonna do the one called Intermediate End Map today. Now it's a difficult to easy room, and it kind of it kind of struck me when I saw the room Inter Intermediate End Map. I figured this would be a good room, but then it was marked as easy. Now I would really like something marked as medium for this kind of room because intermediate is not easy. Anyways, it is a really easy machine. <clears throat> I kind of did it already, you know, I was just sitting and kind of planning on doing, you know, recording. Video was running and then something happened and I just have to stop it. So I'm back again, recording whatever, you know, thing was left. And this is actually finding the flag. There's only one question inside of this, you know, uh, for obvious reasons, I'm not gonna show the flag because I think you should find it yourself. But, um, it is really easy and uh, I must say like this is really easy. So what we're gonna do is just copy paste the IP address just like that and go to any terminal just like that. Just start on all in that scan and do like standard script and standard version. And when I saw intermediate, I just plugged in aggressive because I wanted as much information that I could ever get. Because this is what I really saw, like intermediate in map, you know, gonna test your combined with nmap skills, so we came there. So we did that, we ran the nmap scan, we noticed the port 22 is open and port 2222 is open. And we saw something like some weird TCP port and just read and it says in case you forgot use a password, you got a username, I got a password right there. So basically that's it, you know, you're gonna take this username and password, SSH, Ubuntu, at and then take the IP address, you know, basically just this IP address right here. Come on, thank you. And like that, and say yes, I want a pair of fingerprinting. And then take the password, you know, it's everything just to the G. There we go. And just paste it in, and boom, you have a shield. Now that is just too easy. Clear the screen, LS, no reason to do anything, you just see that two users. Could probably think if you look into Ubuntu user like that, you know, and see there's nothing at all. But actually it's inside user. And inside user you see a flag, it's right there, it's readable by anyone. You can see the owner is root. Root can rewrite, uh, the group root can rewrite, and anyone else beside that can read it. So basically that's just catting it out, you know, and you, you're down at the room. Now I kind of understand maybe that was that it you know when I did it and it was it it was really just that so the room itself basically just tested me in writing an in map scan with with like an aggressive tech capital A to get some extra information I've never really seen you know anyone do this kind of thing here you know you put some password in um, in, 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 in whatever this is fingerprint string you know for this particular service I, I, I get it's, uh, it's a general idea of having this security by obscurity, so you're gonna put in some way to get in. If you forgot it, you can get in, but that's a really bad idea security-wise. I'm just gonna say that this is not the, the practice of, of how you do things. So basically, really short video, nothing much more to say about it. You know, you ran the in-app scan, you got the password, and it's actually also into uh, <laughs> the fingerprint here on the, um, on, the, on, on, on this part down here below, which is uh, just, well, it's the same thing here, but you scroll down and see, it says user pass, it's a def string strong there, and it just keeps repeating all the way down. So no real way of just, you know, looking over this. As I said, again, this is not a common practice, never seen it before. I did 80 plus rooms on TriHack. We have videos on, on 80 plus rooms on my YouTube channel. Please consider watching that and, um, I guess that's it for this video, really short, under 5 minutes, that's the one. See you again out there, have a really nice day.